Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, originally, Sheldon Cooper's origin story was going to be the focus of the Big Bang Theory spin-off. The socially awkward genius propensity for relating stories from his Texas boyhood inspired CBS to steadily increase young Sheldon's fanbase. Now it's the top comedy on television. Sheldon's time in the limelight was greatly diminished in the past few of years as the show changed up its plot. However, it could have been for the best since it seemed like the program had lost its way in how to handle the character. Young Sheldon Season 6 is where CBS most obviously changed how they told stories. Sheldon is no longer the exclusive focus of attention in the program since each member of the Cooper family is given their own storylines throughout the year. Despite the fact that the socially awkward genius has his own storylines, such as his effort to start the Grant Database Project at East Texas Tech, they seem unconnected to what the rest of his family is going through in Medford. The fact that he is separated from the Coopersers and that many of his personal storylines are less interesting than other events in Young Sheldon Season 6 only makes the situation worse. Young Sheldon Season 6 lackluster stories are made worse by the fact that Sheldon has grown into an intolerably obnoxious character. Everyone else finds the guy unusual and quirky, which makes it difficult for them to get along with him. However, for some reason, CBS appears to amp up his flaws, thus bringing out all of his less-than-ideal traits. Young Sheldon Season 6 has two specific examples that clearly illustrate this. First, as Mandy is giving birth and his parents argue about possible extramarital relationships, Young Sheldon's character continues harping on his Grant database in Episode 14, a launch party and a whole human being from Season 6. Second, in Young Sheldon Season 6, Episode 15, a stolen truck and going on a lamb when he secretly pursues his own goals while the rest of the family devises a strategy to locate Missy. But surprisingly, CBS portrays Sheldon in a different way than usual in the Young Sheldon Season 6 finale. The Big Bang Theory prequels makes up for missing so many episodes in 2023 by staging a massive send-off, showing back-to-back -back episodes in a romantic getaway and a Germanic meat-based diet in a tornado, a 10-hour flight, and a darn fine ring. This follows an unusual succession of many breaks throughout 2023. They mostly center on Sheldon's impending trip to Germany, but CBS is also able to advance several plot lines such as the socially awkward genius relationship with Missy in which he depends on his emotions. After a year of primarily acting like a jerk toward everyone, it's wonderful to see Sheldon express some feeling. Given how obnoxious young Sheldon has become, there are instances in season 6 when it is truly impossible to watch the character. Unfortunately, the two-episode final A leaves little room for redemption. Ian Armitage is not at all to blame for this. The young actor has excelled in the part. The real issue is how young Sheldon makes use of Sheldon. It is impossible to identify a single incident that led to Sheldon and young Sheldon season 6 becoming intolerably obnoxious. Despite facing several personal hardships over the year, there was no occurrence that caused him to become worse. The alteration in Sheldon really fits with the Big Bang Theory's established canon. Despite the potential harm to young Sheldon's narrative, CBS has to progressively bring its depiction of the character into line with his The Big Bang Theory counterpart as the prequel series advances the established chronology and gets closer to the events of its parent series. The show's titular character has always been scaled down in Young Sheldon. It is one of the factors that has allowed the family comedy to produce more dramatic scenes than The Big Bang Theory. It doesn't, however, match with the character's overall trajectory in the series to make the socially awkward genius more aware of his feelings in the young Sheldon season, at the start of the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon was at his worst. Yes, he had previously become friends with Leonard, but only because his roommate tolerated him. At this moment, Sheldon's mistreatment of Penny was a more realistic reflection of his nature. But the way it moves ahead, young Sheldon is a little bit of a dilemma. The entire storyline of the prequel may suffer if the prequel keeps making him irritating. Sheldon's antics, as shown in Season 6, are no longer lovable. And if the prequel heavily relies on him, it may completely alienate certain fans. On the other side, if the character is humanized, young Sheldon will go against the Big Bang Theory, leading to even more storyline discrepancies between the two shows. At this point, CBS must choose whatever program it wishes to give top priority. However, 
Given even the rise in popularity of young Sheldon, it could be preferable if they act in the prequel's best interest, particularly if they want to continue its run into season 12. For what it's worth, young Sheldon may use George's affair and eventual demise to explain Sheldon's abruptly attitude shift. They are a valid explanation for why he becomes cynical and harsh in the Big Bang Theory. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.